Section one. You are going to listen to a conversation between two friends who are discussing the organization of a party. As you listen, answer the questions. Write no more than three words for each answer. First, you have some time to look at questions one to five. Now the test will begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully, and answer questions one to five. Hi, Matt. Right on time. Have you been waiting long? Hmm, five minutes. The buses were held up on the high street. Otherwise, I would have been early. Yeah, there's something wrong with them today. Yes, I think so. Okay, what should we do? Should we go and have a coffee? Yeah, that would be nice. There's that place on the corner over there. It does really nice coffee and cakes and things. And at this time, it's usually very quiet, so we'll be able to talk. Okay, let's go there then. So, when's the party going to be? Well, it has to be at the end of September before we all leave for university. We've plenty of time then. We don't go for another five weeks, do we? Hmm. Well, we haven't really got that much time, if you think about it. There are only a couple of weeks at the beginning of September when all of us are around. Oh yes, I forgot. Nazrin, Phil, and Nicky, and all that lot have gone off on holiday. And I'm away for two weeks from tomorrow. So, what does that leave us then? As far as I know, we're all here between the nineteenth and the thirtieth of September. Will Sandra be around then? I know that she has a whole string of family birthdays at that time, and she might not be available. Hmm. Well, let's make a note of that, and we can contact her about it. Okay. Shall we settle for the twenty-first of September then? What day is the twenty-first? It's a Saturday. Is that okay? That's fine. Before the conversation continues, look at questions six to ten. As you listen to the second part of the conversation, answer questions six to ten. For these questions, there are three alternatives: A, B, and C. Decide which alternative is the most suitable answer, and circle the correct letter. And now for the tricky bit: where are we going to hold it? Well, I spoke to Nikki last week, and she volunteered her place, as they have a huge house and garden. Oh, fantastic! Will her parents be around? Yeah, I think so, but she said they won't mind. Oh, right. Well, my parents wouldn't like it at all. <laughs> Nor mine. <laughs> but is it definite? Yes. When I spoke to her, she said it was definitely on. I'll just have to confirm the dates with her. We thought it would be one weekend in September, so I'll just have to make sure that that one is okay. One thing Nikki suggested: we could have a daytime party, as we could be outside if the weather is fine. Oh wow! How far out does she live? It's not that far. Do you know where West Road crosses the bridge? Yeah. It's the first house on the right, with that huge drive up to the front door. Oh right! I know exactly where it is. The road is off the A33 and runs north, then over the bridge and first on the right. I know it. Ah,、oh, the place is amazing. You know, it has a big swimming pool. Does everyone know where she lives? Most of her friends do, but not all. But it doesn't matter, as we can put this map Nikki sent me in with the invitation. How shall we do the invitation? We can do it on the computer. 
I can scan the map, and we'll put it all onto an A4 page. Is this the address? Can I just write the address down? It's ninety three West Road, and I'll take the phone number. It's four double seven one three zero. Right. There's one other thing. Yes. We're all giving ten pounds towards refreshments and food. There'll probably be a barbecue. Do you think that's enough? Oh right. Yeah, that's fine. And everyone will have to help tidy up afterwards, including the boys. <laughs> that's the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section two. Now turn to section two. Section two. You will hear Laura talk about this year's International Food Festival. First, you have some time to look at questions eleven to fourteen. Now listen to the first part of the talk and answer questions eleven to fourteen. Good morning, everyone. Today we have a special guest speaker. Laura Lanthor is director of the International Food Festival this year. Laura, can you tell us about what to expect at the festival? Of course, Vincent. This spring, people in the city can go to the seventh annual International Food Festival. This is a special event for the whole family. I do have to tell you, though, we are holding it at a different date than before. Easter is exceptionally early this year, and if the festival were held as usual, it would have fallen on the same weekend. This year, the festival will be held on the first week of April, before Easter. The festival will be held at the Walker Field grounds and will be divided into four main areas. There will be a Western food area with authentic representations of European cuisine. There will also be an East Asian section with chefs and products from Japan, Korea, and China. A South Asian section will have food from India, Vietnam, Thailand, and Indonesia. For the first time this year, we will also have a Latin American section where people can try things from Mexico, various Caribbean countries, and South America. There will also be special booths where people can learn about all these cuisines. This year, we are expanding the cooking workshop and demonstration portion of the festival. Attendees last year really seemed to like learning about food and having a hands-on experience. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions fifteen to twenty. Now listen and answer questions fifteen to twenty. I'll give you a brief description of three of the workshops we have. Like I said, these allow you to participate directly in the making of food and teach you techniques you can use at home. For a full list of them, please go to our online website. We will give you the site address after the end of my talk. You will also find there the procedure to pre-register for the workshops. Pre-registration takes place when you buy your festival tickets and is highly recommended. Non-Western food has become increasingly popular these days, and many people are interested in how to cook such food at home. Such cuisines use a variety of different spices, ones that aspiring cooks might not be familiar with. 
Therefore, our world tour of spices is a good introduction to the flavor profiles of other cuisines. I would recommend it for adults who want to seriously learn about cooking. Small children might not take to the more exotic spices. One workshop that is meant for children is Candy Adventures. There are traditional activities like making gingerbread houses. Other activities teach basic decorating techniques, including the proper use of coloring dye. Kids can also learn how to make flowers and other objects out of cake frosting. We understand the concerns of parents regarding their children's health, so everything used in this workshop is either sugar-free or uses acceptable sugar substitutes. Lastly, we have a workshop that is suitable for the whole family. Salads Forever is a workshop for everyone interested in healthy eating. There will be different kinds of salads that people can try and demonstrations that show how to make them. Salads have grown in popularity these days and are a healthy addition to any diet if prepared the right way. The workshop will also teach how to make healthy salad dressings. I'm afraid that's all I have today. Please visit the festival website for more details. That is the end of section 2. You now have half a minute to check your answers.
now turn to section 4. Section 4. You are going to hear a lecturer giving a talk on a type of fundraising for business, called crowdfunding. First, you have some time to look at questions 31 to 32. Now listen and answer questions 31 to 32. Good morning, everyone. Today we're continuing our look at funding opportunities for small startup businesses. The emergence of social media has given companies the ability to connect with fans and potential customers directly. On the back of the growth in social media, a model of raising finance has emerged known as crowdfunding. This revolutionary way of raising finance began with micro-lending in the 90s. More recently, an equity-based model has emerged that allows people to invest directly in a new company. We're going to examine this in more detail later, but let's turn first to a third model, which I'll term a fan-based model. With this model of crowdfunding, individuals are encouraged to give an amount of money to support the launch of a project or initiative without the promise of any financial return. Instead, there's a reward for donating. This contrasts with the micro-lending model, which would require a return on investment, and the equity-based scheme, which may offer shares. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions 33 to 40. Now listen and answer questions 33 to 40. Crowdfunding portals or websites allow the business concerned to present the initiative along with the financial target required. There's a fixed time limit for fundraising and if the target amount is reached, all donations are paid to the company or individual. Whether it's an author planning to write a new book an independent film company looking to make a new film, or a technology company with an idea for an app, the person or company needing funding would turn to its fan base for support. This is managed through one of the many crowdfunding online portals that have emerged. Of course, a fan or supporter of a particular initiative is likely to give money anyway. But donation-based crowdfunding will often make donating even more attractive by offering a rewards-based incentive scheme. Let's take a film company, for example, that needs funding for a new film. For a small, set donation, the donor might be offered a free ticket to the premiere or a DVD of the film. A larger set donation might be rewarded by the chance to attend a launch event when the film goes live. Those people who make bigger donations could even be offered the chance to meet the cast of the film whilst the highest level donation could see the person's name mentioned in the film credits. For companies that already have a significant fan base, crowdfunding offers a fantastic opportunity to raise money quickly from a large number of people, each of whom donates just a small amount of money. Compare this to the time and effort that would be needed to sell your idea to investors or your bank manager, particularly in an age when raising finance can be difficult. The company may also have links with partner companies or organisations that run fundraising events. In this case, you can significantly increase participation by working with these organisations to promote your crowdfunding project. Another significant advantage is that you can reach out to your fan base for feedback on the project while it's being developed thus making the final product more appealing. 
crowdfunding enables you to raise awareness of the product at an early stage, thus increasing the potential for sales. With so many people behind you, it can also act as a great incentive to get the best possible product out on time and on budget. However, there are disadvantages to bear in mind. The model can be described as all or nothing. If you don't reach the monetary target required in the agreed time, all promises of donations are cancelled and no money is paid, leaving you back at square one. Should this happen, or still worse, you receive the funding but are unable to come up with the product, not only will your fans end up disappointed, but the portal will record the fact that you failed to reach your target or that the initiative failed. Fulfilling all the pledges that you've made to people can also be very time-consuming. For example, remembering to send out copies of books or free cinema tickets can sometimes be forgotten in the excitement and frenzy of launching your product. People sometimes forget to factor in the cost of rewards when calculating profit margins. But these can be significant. And finally, if you have a small fan base, for example, you're a new company or have a small social media footprint, raising awareness of your initiative will be challenging. These drawbacks aside, donation-based crowdfunding is a wonderful opportunity for individuals or small startups to raise funds for that exciting new project whilst reaching out and connecting to the people who are most likely to support and promote your work for you. That is the end of section four. You now have half a minute to check your answers.